Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Miss Hu's lesson. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm very good too. So today, let's start our lesson with Volume Six, Unit Three, Lesson E, Grammar, Page Sixty-One. Before we start, make sure that you have with you Volume Six Students Book, Volume Six Workbook, your pen, pencil, and your notebook with you. Now, are you ready? Let's go. So in the previous lesson, we learned how to use and write the comparative form of adjectives. Today, we are going to learn one more form of comparison of adjective. Let's see what it is. Firstly, let's have a look at this picture. Listen and then see what the girls are talking about. Let's go. This is the trendiest restaurant in town. It is the most expensive as well. So, what the girls are talking about in this conversation, guys? Very good. They are talking about a restaurant. They say that this restaurant is the trendiest and the most expensive restaurant in town, which means that this restaurant is trendier and more expensive than any other restaurants in town. So it means that they are comparing this restaurant with a group of restaurants in town, and the phrase "the trendiest" and "the most expensive" are the superlative forms of the adjectives "trendy" and "expensive." Now, one more example for you. Let's look at this sentence. This cafe has the cheapest coffee in our town. It means that the cafe. In this cafe, is cheaper than the coffee in other cafes in town, right? So the phrase "the cheapest" is also the superlative form of the adjective "cheap." So we say that we use the superlative to compare one thing, one person, or one animal with the whole group. Okay? Rồi vậy thì các bạn nhớ giúp cô nhé. Chúng ta sử dụng dạng so sánh nhất khi chúng ta muốn so sánh một vật, một người hoặc một con vật gì đó với cả một nhóm. Now let's have a look at this table to see how to form the superlative degree of short and long adjectives. But firstly, let's have a look at those phrases. Can you see any similarity between them? Các bạn có thấy điểm giống nhau giữa những cụm từ này là gì không nhỉ? Yes, they all have the word the. So remember the first thing that we always use the word the before the adjective in the superlative degree. Và các bạn nhớ giúp cô nhé. Chúng ta luôn sử dụng từ the trước tính từ ở trong dạng so sánh nhất. Now let's have a look at the adjective here. Small is one syllable adjective. So remember that with one syllable adjectives, we add e s t at the end of the adjective. For example, the smallest, the cheapest. Okay. Now, how about the second word, large? So similar to what we have learned about the comparative form of the word large, with one syllable adjectives. Ending in e, for example, large, nice. Remember that we only add s t at the end of the adjective. For example, the largest, the nicest. All right. How about the next word, big? So remember that with one syllable adjectives ending in one vowel. And one consonant, for example, big or thin. Remember that we have to double the consonant before adding e s t. For example, we have the biggest, the thinnest. You got it. So how about the last word, tasty? Do you remember anything special about this word? Yes, you're correct. This is 
of two syllable adjectives ending in y. So remember to drop y before adding i, e, s, t at the end of the adjectives. Okay. Rồi vậy các bạn nhớ giúp cô ha. Đối với những tính từ có hai âm tiết và tự cùng bằng chữ y dài thì chúng ta cần phải làm gì nhỉ? Yes, mình phải bỏ y dài và thay vào đó bởi chữ y ngắn thêm e s t vào ở cuối tính từ này. Now, how about long adjectives? For example, expensive. So the only thing we have to do is to add the word most before the adjectives. So we have the most expensive, the most beautiful. You got it? Rồi vậy đối với những tính từ dài vần thì việc duy nhất chúng ta cần làm đó là thêm chữ most vào ngay đằng trước của tính từ đó các bạn nhé. So pay attention to some special adjectives here. For example, clever, common, friendly or narrow. So they have two ways to form the superlative. The first way you can add EST at the end of the word. The second way you can add the most right before the adjectives. For example, we can say the friendliest or maybe the most friendly. You got this one, right? Now, pay attention to some irregular adjectives too. For example, we have good into the best bad into the worst, a little into the least, and many or much into the most. And one more thing for you to bear in mind. This is a special case. A lot of. We form into the most. So now to sum up, please bear in mind one more big note. We always use the word the right before the adjective in the superlative form. Ok? Vậy các bạn lưu ý giúp cô những điều sau nhé. Thứ nhất, đó là chúng ta luôn phải thêm the vào trước tính từ ở trong dạng so sánh nhất. And the second thing is that we can add of or in after the adjectives. And this will depend on the words that follow the adjectives. Ok? Và điều thứ hai các bạn cần lưu ý đó là chúng ta có thể thêm of hoặc in vào sau tính từ thì điều này sẽ phụ thuộc vào từ vựng đứng sau tính từ đó. For example, I will say he is the youngest person in the class. But I will say he is the youngest person of the team. That's it. Now, let's do some exercise to review what we have learned so far. Okay? Bây giờ mình sẽ làm một vài bài tập để chúng ta cùng thực hành những gì chúng ta đã được học các bạn nhé. So in this exercise, you have to write the superlative form of the adjectives. So remember that you may need to use the spelling rules over here. So let me do an example for you. Cheap. So this is a normal one syllable adjective, right? We use the before the adjective and we add est. At the end of the adjective, okay, chúng ta thêm the và est vào đầu cũng như là cuối tính từ các bạn nhé. So we have the cheapest. Now it's time for you to do the exercise. Pause this video again and do it. I'm gonna show you the right answers when you come back. Let's go. Now have you finished? Let's check your answers. Come on. Number one. Clever. So do you remember that clever is a special adjective? Yes or no? Yes, right? So we can use the cleverest or we can use the most clever. Alright, now let's check our answer. Think up. Now, number three. Good. So good is an irregular adjective. Do you remember the superlative form of this adjective? Yes, it should be the best. Very good. We have here. 
Now, crowded. So crowded is a two-syllable adjective. So we have to add the and most before the adjective. Let's check our answer. Excellent. We have the most crowded. Okay. Now next one, difficult. Yeah, difficult has three syllables, which means that it is a long adjective, right? So we have to write out like this: the most difficult. Now spicy. Spicy has two syllables, and it ends in the letter Y, right? So we have to drop the Y and then add I, E, S, T in the word. Very good. So we have the spiciest. Okay, good job. Now number seven, a lot of is a special case. So the superlative form of a lot of is. Yeah, you're correct. We have the most two. And the last one, a little. A little is an irregular adjective. And the superlative form of this adjective is. Yes, very good. We have the least. Let's check. Okay, bingo. Now let's continue. In this exercise, we have to put the adjectives in brackets into the superlative form. Okay. Trong bài tập này, chúng ta cũng phải viết dạng so sánh nhất của các tính từ ở trong ngoặc để hoàn thành câu các bạn nhé. So let me do one more example for you. The first one, popular. So popular is a long adjective, right? So you have to write down it like, yeah, very good, most popular. But do we miss something? Yes, very good. We miss the word the. Right before most popular, okay. So remember that we always add the before the adjectives in the superlative form. So the superlative form of this adjective is, yes, you correct. The most popular, perfect. Let's check our answer. All right. Now it's time for you to pause the video again and do this exercise. Let's go. Now number two, we have easy. Easy is two syllable adjectives ending in y, right? So we have two, yeah, drop y and add i e s t, and the word the before the adjective. So we have like this, the easiest. This is the easiest dish ever. Đây là một cái món mà dễ nhất từ trước đến giờ luôn. Okay. Now number three, we have the adjective old. This is a short adjective. So the correct form is the oldest. Number four, good. Good is a special one. So we should say the bingo, the best. Okay. Let's check. Okay. Good job. And the last one, delicious. Yes. Delicious is a long adjective, so we have to say like, "This is the most delicious." Very good. Okay. Yeah, good job, everyone. Now, how about exercise number seven? It would be a bit difficult for you because you have to put the adjectives in brackets into the comparative or the superlative forms. So you have to decide. Which one you should choose, comparative or superlative? Okay. Rồi bài số bảy này sẽ hơi khó một xíu, bởi vì chúng ta cần phải quyết định xem mình nên sử dụng dạng so sánh nhất hay so sánh hơn của các từ trong ngoặc để mình hoàn thành câu có ý nghĩa nhất. So in this exercise, please remember that if you are comparing two people, two things, or two animals. Which form would you use, comparative or superlative, guys? Yes, bingo. We use comparative to compare two different things, people or animals. But if we are comparing one person, one thing, or one animal with two or more people, more thing, 
or animals. Which degree should we use? Very good. We use superlative. Okay. Let's do an example. The first one we have Mario is blah 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 expensive restaurant in the area. So in this sentence, we are comparing Mario's restaurant with other restaurant in the area, right? So which one should we use? Superlative or comparative, guys? Very good. We should use superlative, and this sentence should be written like this. Mario is the most expensive restaurant in the area. Okay. So now, let's pause the video again and do the exercise. Good luck. Now it's time for us to check your answers. Let's go. Number two. We are comparing fruit juice with sugary drink, right? So which form should we choose here, guys? Comparative or superlative? Very good. We should choose comparative, right? Now, so what is the comparative form of the word healthy, guys? Yes, you're correct. It should be healthier. Perfect. Let's check our answers. Good job. Now, number three. This K recipe needs something, many eggs, then that one. Okay, so it means that we are comparing this K recipe and that K recipe, right? So we should choose the comparative form. And how should we write here? Yes, very good. We should only use the word more. Now let's check. Bingo. Now number four. Ramsay is one of uh, something famous chefs in the world. Okay, so it means that we are comparing Ramsay with all the chefs in the world, right? So we have to use the superlative form. And how can we write down the superlative form of the word famous? Yeah, there we go. We say the most famous. Let's check. Yeah, excellent. And the last one, Thai fish pie is meals of all. Okay, so we are comparing Thai fish pie with other meals, right? So it is, yeah, we should choose superlative form. And with tasty, how should we write here? Yes, very good. We should say the tastiest. Now. This time for us to do the very last exercise in today's lesson. So in this exercise, you have to use the adjectives below in the comparative and superlative form in sentences of your own. Okay. Rồi vậy trong bài tập số 8 này thì nhiệm vụ của các bạn đó là tự viết, tự đặt các câu có sử dụng những tính từ ở dưới đây theo dạng so sánh hơn cũng như là so sánh nhất. Now let's look at a few examples so that you can do this exercise better at home. Okay. Bây giờ chúng ta sẽ cùng tham khảo một vài ví dụ và sau đó mình sẽ hoàn thành bài tập này ở nhà các bạn nhé. Now let's check it out. So the first one, cheap, cheaper, and the cheapest. We have this sentence. Potatoes are the cheapest food. Next one, clever. We have this sentence. My sister is cleverer than me. Next one, good. That's the best restaurant in the city. Number four, crowded. This restaurant is more crowded than that one. Number five, this is the most difficult recipe in the book. Difficult. Number six, spicy. This dish is the spiciest in the menu. Number seven, a lot of. I've got more recipes than Jane. And the last one, a little. She has less money than me. Okay, so in these examples, they may use comparative or superlative with these adjectives, right? But I want you guys to try to make sentences with both comparative and superlative form of the adjectives. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. So to sum up. Today we have learned about how to use 
and write the correct form of superlative degree of short and long adjectives. For homework and more practice, please remember to review all the language points that we have learned today. Do the exercise in your workbook, page 32, and access the edgehome.com.vn for further practice resources. So that is the end of today's lesson too. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye!